This is part two of our autumn landscape. You will need black paint, a couple sizes of brushes, and a pencil. Make sure your background is nice and dry before you move on to the next step. Before you begin with paint, you're going to use a pencil to add three to four trees. Your trees should be about two or one finger in width. Just carefully start sketching where you choose and they should go all the way up to the top of your paper. And I like to make kind of a skinny triangle shape because trees generally get a little thinner as they go upwards. So you can see my trunk is getting a little bit skinnier so you could make kind of a triangle shape or just have it get smaller as you go upward. And then you're gonna add just a few Y shapes, or what looks like a letter Y. Some are forward and some are backward. Not too many, you can always add more later. Scoot over, go ahead and add another tree. Make sure you're drawing lightly so that if you need to make some corrections, you can easily erase. After your trees are drawn in pencil, you're ready to start adding paint. Remember that when you add paint that your lines are going to get thicker and slightly change, but that's okay. I prefer the black handle brushes for adding the paint because they have stiffer br bristles. These are smaller, but the bristles are much softer, so I think it's a little harder to control, but it really is up to you what you're most comfortable with. A little bit of paint goes a long ways. Careful not to drip it in places you don't want it, or you might have to turn that into an extra branch. Carefully add paint in between your pencil lines. Something to remember is that the more you press down, the wider your lines will be. So as you go upward, you're going to want to use more of the tip of your brush and not push as hard. So you could experiment on your placement if you choose. So if you push down, your lines are wide. If you don't push down, your lines are a little more skinny. So you could experiment here too with your branches as well. Remember when you go to add your branches that they will be much wider. Don't push down too hard. Use a nice wispy light motion when you're adding your branches. You can always thicken them up if you prefer. And if you decide that you would like more branches, you can always add more. If you need to use pencil first, that's okay. Watch out for that wet paint though. Just keep going slowly, adding paint to those pencil lines that you created. And when your trees are totally dry, we will add our final details with oil pastel. And now it's ready for our final details. So we're going to let this dry and see our last step in part three.